A magical commotion has shaken the Forgotten Lands. It seems to have come from that mysterious pumpkin house in the Forgotten Lands. What was that strange noise? We're just breaking in. Oh. Talk to the fairy godmother. Oh my. Is it really? It couldn't be. Oh, let me have a look at you. Kizzy? Oh, it is you, isn't it? I don't know how to be anyone else. And there's no one I'd rather you be. For you really are quite dear to me. Now, where is that wand? I, oh, I was sure I, I, oh dear, I'm holding it, aren't I? <laughs> well, then I suppose that's one problem solved, isn't it? And now that you're here, perhaps together we can solve another. Oh, but let me get one more look at you. It's been far too long, my dear. It really is you, isn't it? And not that, that shadow of you? Shadow of me? Are you talking about the forgotten? Yes, but now I'm certain that it's you. What a relief. You see, I've been trying to solve a magical conundrum the Forgotten left behind. Long ago, the Forgotten stole the Orb of Remembrance and hid it along with some lost memories in the Dreamscape. What's the Dreamscape? Oh, you may not know its name, but you've been there before. Nearly every time you've closed your eyes. The Dreamscape is the place between dreams and the waking world. The rules there, well, they're a bit out of order. And it's a fine place for hiding things, such as an orb, or perhaps memories you'd rather forget. What sort of memories did the Forgotten hide? I'm afraid I haven't the faintest idea. That's one of the reasons I was so happy to see you. It seems to me the Forgotten would want to forget the same sorts of things you might. As for me... Well, I'm afraid I don't need a dreamscape or a magic spell to forget things. I seem to do that all on my own. That's why I always tie my cape on, you know. Otherwise, I'd never remember where I put it. So how do we get the orb back? Well, that's what I've been trying to do here all along. But every spell I've tried simply hasn't worked. You mean, you've been in this pumpkin house the whole time, trying to figure this out on your own? Yes, but I'm afraid I've only man managed to bumble it. The Forgotten has hidden the door to the dreamscape behind a powerful illusion. And no matter what I do, I can't seem to lift it. Oh, but now you're here. Your magic, it's just like the Forgotten's. Perhaps if we can bind our magic together. I'm on it. One illusion dispelling enchantment coming right up. There's nothing in the world I admire more than someone who delights in their duties and doesn't see them as a chore. Now, before the night thorns parted me from the rest of the village, I managed to grab a handful of spell books. One enchantment seems to hold the most promise. Would you be a dear and gather some purified night shards for it? I'll take care of the rest. Just meet me back here once you've found it. After all, what's lost must be found again. And on you, I know we can depend. Was she rhyming that whole time and I didn't notice? This is a tiny house. All right. Gather purified night shards. That's easy. And we make five purified night shards. And then we bring them back up. <laughs> Give. Oh, look at you, dear. You found everything I asked for. Let's see. Yes, this should do nicely. Now come along and don't be slow. To the dreamscape we must go. I'm ready. Let's do this. Follow me and leave your fears behind. For the dreamscape reflects what you hold in your mind. Now then, meet me at the mountain in the middle of the Forgotten Lands. See you soon. Meet me at the mountain in the... The mountain in the middle? What mountain in the middle? There's a mountain in the middle. I guess I can follow her. There's a lot of... Oh my god, there's a dreamlight tree. I, I know that was the point, but... Uh, holy moly. It probably just shut... Oh, I guess... Oh, that's a rock. It's not really a mountain. But sure. Here we are. 
the gateway between Dreamlight Valley and the Dreamscape. Inside, we'll find the place between waking life and this realm, the realm of dreams. It's just a big rock. It's only a big rock because you're looking at it with just your eyes. Focus your magic. Soon all will be unveiled. The Forgotten's illusion must be dispelled. Dreamscape, reveal yourself. Oh gosh. Oh! Enter the dreamscape through the treehouse. Okay, sure. I don't know why I thought I would climb up the ladder. Oh! Okay. Ah, here we are. Peculiar, isn't it? It's as though we've traveled a long way, and as if we've done nothing more than close our eyes. This place is amazing. It certainly is. The dreamscape built this out of pure imagination to help the forgotten protect something very important. The orb of remembrance is on that pedestal in the center of the room. Oh, but I'm afraid its power has grown dim. If we... If we're to restore it, we must find the memories the Forgotten has scattered. So how do we do that? Well, each memory holds some whisper of the virtues that have been forgotten. And many are already here to be found. Just gather the memories you see all around. Looks like the dream castle. That was the memory of love. Yup. The memory of courage. And the memory of power. I picked up all the memories, but there are some pieces missing. Hmm, yes. These memories. Why they're just pieces or something larger that the forgotten meant to hide. What? <laughs> I try that one again. <clears throat> um, yes. These memories. Why? They're just pieces of something larger that the forgotten meant to hide. I'm afraid the Forgotten has hidden, has hidden something here much deeper. If we're to uncover it, well, it won't be as simple as finding the memories. I'm afraid you'll have to live the Forgotten's lost memories yourself. I need to become the Forgotten? Yes, but just in a sense. The dreamscape only has the power to show. So how do I do this? How do I live out the Forgotten's memories? The dreamscape always finds a way. Follow me and don't delay. Oh, Merlin. Oh. All right, Kizzy. It's time to pass through the first gate. There, you'll find yourself inside one of the Forgotten's oldest memories. For as long as you're in that place, you'll be the Forgotten. You'll see and hear what they saw and heard. But more than that, you'll, fi you'll feel what the Forgotten felt. This sounds dangerous. Well, if you ever feel yourself becoming lost in the Forgotten's memory, simply step back through the gate and I'll be waiting for you here. Whatever you find on the other side, it must have been important to the Forgotten. It might even be what set them on the path to becoming what they are. When you're ready, step through the gate and see what sealed the Forgotten's fate. Step through the first gate in the dreamscape. Here we go. Oh boy. I'm not sure about this, guys. Oh. See what Mickey wants this time. Oh dear.
I'm scared. <laughs> oh, hi, Kizzy. You're just who I was looking for. You were looking for me? But why? Who cares about boring old me? Gosh, I care about you a ton. And, uh, well, you haven't seemed like yourself lately. Is there anything you want to talk about? Oh, gosh. Everything is awful. I... I just... No, nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. Why can't I ever say how I feel? Ugh. You sure everything's okay, pal? <laughs> it says... It says... Everything... Oh, gosh. It, it says... Every, everything is bad. Oh, God. I'm flexible. Bad. It's fine. I'm okay. I'm great. I'm amazing. What's the point? No one would get it anyway. Well, all right. But you know if you ever need to talk, I'm always around. What did you want to talk to me about anyway? Oh, right. I almost forgot. I noticed there are all sorts of new flowers growing around the valley. And I wanted to make a big bouquet for Minnie to show her just how special she is. I thought maybe you could help because, well, you're the best in the whole valley at picking the flowers. Sure, fine. I'll pick you some flowers. I'll probably screw that up, too. Ugh. Thanks, pal. And hey, just remember, I'm always here to talk. Pick some ugly flowers. Okay. One ugly flower. Okay. The emo kid. Two ugly stinky flowers. Three stinky poopy flowers. Four hideous, regretful flowers. And five terrible, meanie flowers. Craft a hideous bouquet at the crafting station near Goofy's house. Because you have to do everything around here. Minnie. Minnie. Mi mi Oh, goodness, what's this? It's a gift from Mickey. A bouquet. Oh, Kizzy, it's... It's... So original. Did Mickey make it? No, I did. How kind of you. I'm very grateful, Kizzy. But before you go, I just wanted to make sure that everything's all right. You haven't seemed quite yourself lately. I just want to be left alone. I'm fine. That's good to hear. And thank you for the flowers. It was a lovely gesture. I'll go find a vase for them right away. They look like they just need a little love and care. Like all of us sometimes. I don't think that's gonna help. Return to Mickey. Oh, hi, pal. Did you have any luck finding some nice flowers? I found some... Uh, nice flowers. Made a bouquet and gave it to Minnie. You did? Thanks, pal. But, uh, you didn't have to do all that on your own. You could have just given them to me and I would have taken care of the rest. Or even better, we could have made it together. I messed up again. Well, it's done, so whatever, I guess. That's okay, pal. I'll just go and see how many liked them. Thanks again. Oh, uh, say... I think Goofy's looking for you. Maybe you could go find him. Now Goofy wants something too? <sighs> Howdy, Kizzy. You know, I was just thinking. I can't remember the last time we shared a yummy meal together. I'm not really hungry. Yeah, I can't remember either. Well, I just finished up about the juiciest shrimp I've ever seen. How about I gave you that? And maybe you could go round up the rest of the ingredients and we'll make some booyah base. Okay. Uh, 
All right. We need, oh gosh. Oh gosh. A rotten carrot. A rotten clam. Oh, oh, I need two of them, okay. And I thought I saw another one. Why is it so complicated? <laughs> And everything is pretty much the same. Another rotten stinky clam. And a rotten tomato. Cook a nasty booyah base. Nasty. Nasty yucky. Nasty booyah base. Gosh, you cooked the whole meal yourself? Well, thanks, Kizzy, but I was hoping we could cook it together. Oh. Oh, that's okay. At least we can share it together, right? I'm not hungry. You okay, pal? Ugh. Like anybody would understand even if I could explain it to them. I'm fine. Oh, uh, alright. But you know, I'm always here if you need me. Now I'm gonna dig into this meal you cooked for me. I can't wait to try it. It smells kinda... interesting. Maybe I'll just, uh, save it for later. Must be one of those dishes that gets even better after it sits for a bit. Say, I think Minnie was looking for you. You might want to go see what she wants. Minnie wants to talk to you again. Ugh. You want something? Oh, yes, I do. Ugh, what's it gonna be this time? I just wanted to tell you... ...that you're loved. What? I am? Of course. Everyone here cares so much about you. You mustn't be afraid to let your friends know how you feel. Even if you might feel a little silly doing it. <sighs> Something's wrong. Kizzy? It's fine. I'm fine. Thanks for the talk. Oh. Memory of friendship. Oh boy. You've returned! Splendid! Now what did you learn inside? It was so strange. I felt everything the Forgotten must have felt. The Forgotten... Lost their excitement for life. It was such a beautiful day in the valley, but everything just seemed like a chore. Oh dear. It's sad indeed when what once brought joy now only serves to vex and annoy. I fear that the key to stopping the forgotten lies in another of these memories. But do you feel, at least, that you understand the forgotten a bit better now? Yes. The forgotten never asked to be stuck here. If I felt that lonely and frustrated, I guess I might do some of the things the forgotten has done, too. Many would, but just because we can understand the forgotten doesn't mean we must agree with the path they walk down. Let's hope that the next memory holds the key to finding the Forgotten and helping them. Now, Kizzy, follow me. There's so much more here to see. Goodness me, some very strong emotions are coming from the next archway. Whatever the Forgotten was trying to hide, there's quite a lot of anger and betrayal inside. There's only one thing to do. I must pass through. I couldn't have said it better myself. Now pass through the gate and discover what led the Forgotten to lose their trusting spirit.
Mother Gothel wants something. There, because I think it's funnier if you guys can see what was going on. I think it would have been better. So we'll we'll make it up this time. It's funnier if I'm on this side. Just who I was hoping to see. Darling, tell me you've noticed all those ugly night thorns sprouting around the valley. And how some of the villagers are starting to lose their memories. Merlin hasn't the faintest clue what might be causing it. But don't worry. I won't tell him it's all your fault. My fault? Well, of course it is. The village clearly reflects you. Your dreams, your desires, your fears. And we've all noticed that you haven't been yourself lately. I... What? No, I'm... I'm fine. Tsk, tsk, tsk. You mustn't lie to Mother Gothel. You know how I hate that. But don't worry. There's nothing wrong with you. You're simply growing up. You're finally seeing the world for the cruel and dangerous place it is. But the world's not cruel and dangerous. <sighs> You're starting to sound like a certain long-haired blonde person. Now trust me. After all, we must look out for ourselves. In fact, follow me. You have much to learn. The pillar of trust. This better be important. Okay, can I... There we go. Here we are. Now pay attention, dear. These pillars have been here for as long as anyone in the village can remember. If you asked Merlin, he'd tell you they symbolize the virtues that hold this village together and protect it, blah, 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 blah. Oh, how that man loves to hear himself talk. I guess he could be a bit long-winded sometimes. Worse than that, Merlin is a liar. Huh? What do you mean? Merlin told you that these pillars protect the village, but they don't. The only... They only prevent brilliant people like us from reaching our full potential. Everything he's told you about light and dark magic, friendship, trust, and so on... Nothing more than lies to keep you under his control. I... I don't believe you. Well, there's one way to find out for sure. Rip the orb out of the pillar. Then you'll see that what I'm saying is true. Rip that ugly orb out of that annoying pillar of trust. The orb. Darling, you've done it. And not to worry, I'll dispose of it safely. Mustn't let it fall into the wrong hands. Now see? Doesn't everything feel better without that pesky pillar getting in the way? Everything feels the same. Don't be ridiculous. The air is just brimming with possibility. I can't wait to show you how much grander life can be when you aren't forced to live under Merlin's rules. But first, you'll have to do me one itsy-bitsy favor. Oh, great. Another favor. Manners, Kizzy. Just because you're growing up doesn't mean you can leave those behind. Now to the task at hand. I'm devastated that I've lost one of my most prized possessions. A jewel-encrusted mirror. I was admiring myself when I simply dropped it in the water somewhere around here. How clumsy of me. Why don't you get a new mirror? Oh, I have other mirrors, dear, but this one has sentimental value. I'd be devastated to lose it. Finding my jewel-encrusted mirror will be no trouble for you. Simply use that fishing rod of yours in the waters of this area. I'll be waiting near the giant willow, not doing anything suspicious. <laughs> I'm just teasing, darling. See you soon. Fish out the um, something. Oh, that wasn't the mirror. Okay, it was a time capsule. Or at least it looked like what the time capsule looked like. I missed?
a ball. There's a lot of garbage in in our uh, in our waters here. Does this mirror exist? What? Hello? You're back. What did you miss? Oh my goodness! So much drama. Where the heck is this mirror? Uh, oh, well, that's inconvenient, isn't it? I missed. There we go. <laughs> this mirror is nothing but junk. Return to Mother Gothel near the giant willow and give her a piece of your mind. My mirror! You found it! And so quickly. I knew I could count on you. What's the big idea? The big idea? No, dear. It's a brilliant idea. Oh, don't look so upset. You must be thinking ever. You must be take- God. Okay, we'll try again. Ready? <gasps> oh, don't look so upset. You must stop taking everything so seriously. Now, shall I tell you my plan? You see, Kizzy, I've always wondered if that dreamlight magic of yours might work like- might work like Rapunzel's magical hair. So I borrowed a little book from Merlin, traded for a few potions and ingredients from Ursula, and now that the magic of the orb is gone, there's nothing to stop me from throwing it all together to keep you safe in the giant willow forever. It's for your own good, dear. The world outside is far too dangerous. Trust me, it's better this way. You'll see in time that I can be a very loving mother. The memory of trust. Goodness, what did you find in the forgotten second memory? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Not a ghost, just a gothel. She showed the forgotten how to be cruel. The Forgotten learned a horrible lesson from her. How to be selfish and use people for your own ends. Oh dear, I'm afraid that sometimes when we're hurt, it can be rather easy to turn that hurt towards others. Now, I don't know if this brings us any closer to saving the valley, but perhaps now you can understand the Forgotten a bit better. The Forgotten's pain is becoming so real to me. How could the Forgotten ever trust anyone again after what Mother Gothel did? Once all this is over, I'm gonna have. I'm going to need to have. God, I. Jeez, Louise. <sighs> Once all this is over, I'm going to need to have a little talk with her. Trust is fragile, dear. We must be. We must beware. Once broken, it's difficult to repair. Now then, I'm afraid we still don't have all the answers we need. But perhaps we'll find them through this final gate. Follow me. Listen closely, Kizzy. Beyond the last gateway, you'll find the final lost memory of the Forgotten. Whatever happened here, it changed them into what they are now. I know I can save the Forgotten. I have to. The Forgotten was a part of me. I know I can fix all of this. I just don't know how yet. That may be true, but don't lose faith. I believe in you. Now, collect yourself, dear. You mustn't wait. Go boldly forward and step through the gate. And if it gets to be a bit too much, just know that I will be right here waiting. What does Scar want? Better talk to him. Does anyone see Scar? <laughs> Is he in his house? I guess he could be in his house. Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, at last. You're the only one here who's not a complete fool. What do you want? Manners, Kizzy. 
Churlishness is far from enduring. Now then, I have a small question to ask you. It seems to me that those of us who are wise, strong, and cunning should take up the mantle of leadership. I don't want to rule over every over anything. Only because you haven't seen the good I, uh, you could do. Unfortunately, there's one minor inconvenience stopping us from assuming power. It's that, that monstrosity there, near the end of the river. You mean the pillar and the orb of nurturing? Precisely. The windbag with the white mane spends hours examining it. Play acting as if he's trying to understand its power. But I'm certain it's there to watch over us, to keep us in our place, as it were. I... I guess we could tear the orb out, like I tore out the one in the Glade of Trust. Precisely. And that's what I've tried. But it seems to feed off the nature around it. If only someone could injure the flora and fauna, temporarily, of course. Perhaps you'd be able to destroy it. Is he trying to trick me, like Mother Gothel did? I can't trust him. But I can't trust Merlin, either. I'll do it. I'll get that orb out of the pillar. I knew you'd see reason. If it were me, I'd start by destroying the hideous flowers scattered about. I never have cared for them. Crush the flowers. Crush. 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 I apparently missed one somewhere. Oh no. They're bright orange. How did I? Okay. Crush. Ah, oh, you can feel it, can't you? Whatever that monstrosity is, its power has begun to wane. But there is still more work to do. This better be worth it. Trust me, it will be. There's only one more thing you need to do. I'm sure you've noticed all the strange weeds sprouting out. The night thorns, you mean? Ugh, oh, yes. If we must use that windbag's name for them. Regardless of that moniker, I rather like them, don't you? Though they do seem to sap the life out of everything around them. Wanting to know more, I dug where you would expect to see seeds, and instead I found these small bits of darkness. I suppose you could plant them and see what happens. Try near the pillar itself, or the entrance to those caverns over there, or that dreamlight tree that Simba's so fond of. I'll be waiting near my din when you finish the task. 25 of them, jeez Louise. Don't I have, um... Actual food? I thought I had... Oh, the puree. Loring? Do I have to water them? Sure. Uh, near the mine entrance. Soaking. Okay. near the dreamlight tree. All right. We did it. Oh gosh. Oh, it just fell out. Interesting. I'm lost. I'm going this way.
Return to Scar near his cave. Still hazy over here. You've done it. Bravo. Now just give that pesky thing to me. The orb of nurturing? What would you want with it? Oh, only for safekeeping, of course. I may not understand exactly what it is, but I know something powerful and dangerous when I see it. He is tricking me. He's tricking me just like Mother Gothel did. I know exactly what you're trying to do, and I'm not going to fall for it. Oh dear, temper, Kizzy. Can't you see that you've already done exactly what I wanted? Look at everything you've broken. The other villagers will never forgive you for this. Ugh. Ah, uh, don't try to keep your emotions in check, Kizzy. You've no need to fear. I could easily fix this for you. Simply let me rule Dreamlight Valley. It will, it will be an immense burden, but I'm prepared to make that sacrifice. Besides... It's really your only choice. Make me king and stand at my side. Or run away and never return. You'll never be king, Scar. I'll make sure of that. Oh, you ingrate. After all I've done for you. If you come to your senses, I'll be in my cave. Confront Merlin. It looks like he has some more advice for you. Kizzy, well, I was looking for Scar, but never mind that. You and I are long past due for a chat. I've got nothing to talk to you about. Please, just lend your ear for a moment. I'm, well, I'm rather worried. Of course I'm concerned about all things that's going on in the village, but it's you I'm most worried about. Well, you don't have to worry. Because I'll run away. I'll run away and never return. Please, Kizzy, let me explain. You, well, uh, you don't have to listen if you don't care to. Now then, it's only natural that you, as you mature, there will be parts of yourself you question. Things you wish, be you wish to leave behind. But there are some things you must never lose faith in. Friendship, love, acts of care for one another. They're the most powerful magic of all. And they're the greatest forces in Dreamlight Valley. Or, well, anywhere. Leave me alone. I shall, in just a moment. I have one last thing to say. We all care deeply about you. I promise. Love and friendship can always are always here for you when you're in need of them. You'll never understand. Perhaps not, but I'll never stop my pursuit of knowledge or trying to aid you. Be careful of the path you're walking down, Kizzy. I implore you. Some things must never be forgotten. Some things must be forgotten. Oh dear. Into the dream castle. Well, Kizzy, what did you discover in the final memory? Scar tricked the Forgotten into helping the Nightthorn spread, and then Merlin showed up. Merlin warned the Forgotten not to lose faith in love, friendship, and the power of small acts of care. I think he almost got through to the Forgotten. Merlin planted a seed in the Forgotten's mind. If we could just water it, give it a little sunlight. I agree. The Forgotten is not lost to us for good. Not yet. In the final memory, it looked like the Forgotten ran away to... Ran away to a castle. I've never seen that castle before. There's another side of Dreamlight Valley. A shadowy side. You can get there through portals. Of course, if, you've, if you're ever to save the Forgotten, you must venture to the Forgotten's home and face them there. But how to get there? Perhaps in time, it's time I consult with Merlin. Oh, before I depart. Now that the Forgotten's memories are recovered, the Orb of Remembrance is repaired. Be a deer and return it to the pillar in the Forgotten Lands while I seek out Merlin. Goodbye for now. I'll see you soon. The Orb of Remembrance. <gasps> I 
After all this time, here we are, face to face. I have all these, these memories in my head. All of a sudden, you must have seen them too. So you most, must know what I am by now. You're some sho gosh, you're some sort of shadow of me. When I left Dreamlight Valley, I left a shadow, an echo, and that's you, me. How do you know I'm not the real Kizzy? What if you're the echo? Maybe you're just the part that moved on, a piece of me that left. It doesn't matter. I just want to help. I don't want to hurt you, really. I want to help. Is that what you think about me? That I'm... I'm some kind of weak ne weakling who needs help? Maybe I was, once, but not anymore. Needing help doesn't make you weak. That's what Merlin was trying to tell you. Caring for others? That's not something you leave behind. It makes us stronger, not weaker. It holds the valley together. Please, let us help you. You think I didn't try to ask for help? After that day with Scar, no one could hear me. I was trapped in the shadows, alone, lost. It takes all my magic now just to step out into the light. But you're here now. Let's fix all of this. Fix all of this? That's exactly what I've been trying to do. I haven't been hiding. I've been busy. Busy? Doing what? Do you expect me just to tell you my whole plan? Like some kind of, some kind of villain at the end of a movie? If you've got a plan, I can help. You could never help, because you could never understand. There's only one way to make sure that no one ever gets pulled to the dark side of Dreamlike Valley to the dark side of Dreamlike Valley like I was. Only one way to make sure no one is ever lonely again. I need to rip open the walls between worlds, between Dreamlike Valley and the other side. And now I have the last thing I was missing. The way to fuel the spell, the orb of remembrance. Oh no. Tell Fairy Godmother what happened. Where is Fairy Godmother? Somewhere over here. No, this way. I don't know how to read maps. Okay. Kizzy, something's happened, hasn't it? The sky above the valley seems to be opening. Wait a moment. What's happened to the Orb of Remembrance? The Forgotten showed up and stole it from me. The Forgotten? Oh, dear. That's not all. The Forgotten is planning some sort of spell to tear down the wall between Dreamlight Valley and the Dark Side. A spell so no one will ever be lonely again. Goodness. They want to rend the fabric of reality? Tear down the wall between one world and the next? That's a very dangerous sort of magic. With just the slightest slip, the Forgotten could destroy everything. You mean all of Dreamlight Valley? No, I mean everything. Dreamlight Valley, the dark side, the here and there, the realms, perhaps even the waking world. I'll make sure that doesn't happen. No lost inner child of mine is going to destroy the universe. I know I can stop this. It's difficult magic, dear. For now, Dreamlight Valley is safe and stable, but we must do what we can while we're able. Soon you'll have no choice but to cross to the dark side of Dreamlight Valley and confront the Forgotten. I'll consult with Merlin on how we might do that. In the meantime, you should do what you should do what you've always done. Keep taking care of Dreamlight Valley. Holy guacamole. We have to catch a here and there fish. <laughs> I'm stress fishing. What if I just try to... Well, I'll get seaweed. But what if I just try to not do any bubbles at all? Has anyone ever considered that? Yeah, well, I tried. <laughs> Hello. Hello, hello, Wally. Oh, where'd this come from? 
Interesting. Oh goodness, it's uh dark out here, isn't it? It's definitely evening now, right? It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna catch a here and there fish. And this is the only active quest, I think. That is something I can actively do. That I don't have to wait on anything. I definitely took away a lot of Goofy's yard in my remodel. Goofy had too much yard. I needed to be able to walk around this pond. Still no here and there fish. Gosh dang it. It's after 8, so if this isn't... Evening, I don't know what it is. <laughs> what if I come over here? Feed a critter. Oh, complete. Oh gosh, I'm a mess. A mess and a half. Alright, if this isn't one, I give up. Yeah, okay. Let's see. So, that's everything, right? And we'll come back another day. Whenever Anna and Moana is ready with all of Mirabelle's stuff. And by that time, I'll have the here and, here and there fish caught. And we'll have leveled up the fairy godmother to level 2. And we can keep on going. Um, and, and we'll be good. And maybe I'll have had the rest of this room decorated again since I ripped ripped all the decorations out because I was in a in a decorating mood and then I took like an hour just to decorate the kitchen and I gave up <laughs> so we'll, we'll see uh I did uh add some stuff to this room take a look look at how nice it is in here we got we got a little gaming room some coin slots, some some computer stuff. This isn't a uh, hundred percent what it's gonna look like, but I wanted the idea, and this is really the only kind of table I had was this sewing table. So I wanted to have like a land party party kind of idea situation, and this where hopefully we'll get some sort of gaming stuff, and it's just a nice little game room that we're working on. Uh, I've showed you guys the other rooms before. I'm, I'm just coming up with theme rooms. Like, this is like a, a royal... A royal room, and then there's like the the weird sparkly doodad room. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it all later, and, and the next time I stream, we'll, we'll do something else, maybe. 